Hi Scorpio, welcome to your reading. This is a general love reading, it may or may not resonate with all of you. Now let's start, first let's shuffle four times. So let's start with what may have happened in the past, why it, why it all happened, what were the problems, the challenges, so you better know if this reading is your reading. Okay, a long distance relationship that caused you lots of confusion, lots of uh, overthinking, that is the first I'm getting. Problems with communication, maybe there was, uh, maybe there was some blockage there sometimes and it may have caused lots of insecurity. Now let's see about the current energies. You want them to come towards you with a message of love or, or an apology and with a more dedication, with more focus on the connection in order to make it a perfect one this time, to make it right. What may be affecting you in your subconscious? The fact that the connection is not easy, is quite heavy and it feels like a big burden. Quite heavy to carry on. At least one person, it is very difficult for one person to carry this whole connection forward. It should be a teamwork. It should be a teamwork and not a one team person. That's why it is called a teamwork, because it, ne it needs more than one person. But it seems like the focus and the energy was mostly from one partner. What is the overall energy? Silence, no communication, healing from the wounds of the past, reflecting, learning the lessons of the past, not wanting to repeat uh, not wanting to repeat the same mistakes again. How do you view the situation with them? You feel still connected with this past person. It may have been a soulmate connection, but it was not a fair connection. That's how you view it. Let's see more details. Your fear is that uh, the situation will remain the same, stagnant, not moving forward or too much thinking and not much progress and uh, what you want to avoid is being in a connection with a person that is half interested you don't want to be in, uh, in a connection with a person that has has no interest there or does not feel very connected you want a true connection now let's see what are their thoughts what are their current thoughts towards you They think a lot about you. They know the connection was toxic and it ended in a very bad way. They have been waiting for quite some time. And I think they haven't decided to give up yet. They are confused. They want something stable now. They don't want all those ups and downs, on and offs. They want stability and they want something secure. Their main focus, I think, is their work and career. They want to be happy again. I think this person feels very unhappy and they want to be happy with you. Now let's see their possible actions. Yes, there's a chance they may send a message or make a call because they still have attraction for you and they still think about you a lot. They are obsessed with you. They have a strong physical attraction towards you. And uh, mostly I see passion uh, from their side, mostly physical attraction towards you. They want to be happy again, they feel unhappy without you. They think the connection may be over and they don't like it. They know it was not balanced. They have been thinking a lot about sending 
and trying to send a friendly message, but they have been resisting a lot to do that. I will continue this reading in the extended now with more details. If you want to watch the extended, you can find it now in the description box below this video. See you in the next reading and bye for now.